Hi friends, welcome back to Simply Our Home, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Amy. Today's video, we'll be tackling our upstairs bathroom. We'd want to make some minor changes to the space to update it while staying on a tight budget. If you're needing inspiration or tons of DIY motivation, look no further. Today's video is sure to please. As you can see, we've already started by taking down everything we can. One way to make your space look better without spending a dime is to clean and declutter the area. So if you don't have the money to do any changes now, a bit of organization and elbow grease can take your room from drab to fab right away. In my last video, I did some major organizing in this room. So after you've watched this video, be sure to check that one out as well. The next way to update a space is to paint. A can of paint is fairly cheap and can make a drastic change in the appearance of a room. We're starting here by refreshing the paint on the ceiling and doing all the necessary prep work to get the walls ready for a new coat of paint too. Now, before going any further, I want to go back and show you what the bathroom looked like when we purchased our home 10 years ago. Right away, we painted the walls from the Cookie Monster Blue to a subtle beige and spray painted the light fixture from chrome to bronze and that was the first phase. Earlier this year, which would be considered the second phase, we began the tedious process of painting all our oak trim and doors throughout our entire house white. Here you can see we also painted the vanity, replaced all the cabinet hardware, and vanity faucet too. I pretty much shopped exclusively from Amazon, so I'll try to link everything down in the description box so that you can easily check them out. Currently, that leads us into phase three. I'll be using this paint from Sherwood Williams, and as no surprise, the color I'm using is shiitake. I'm loving this color and the uniformity throughout the house. So remember, it's taken us quite a while to get to phase three as other projects have taken priority. Don't be discouraged when you can't get everything done all at once. The end result is what you're striving for. And remember, all great things take time and tons of patience for that matter too. So here's a look at the room now that I've cut in along the trim. What makes this process so much faster and produces professional results is the use of the green frog tape. It makes a world of difference and we will never paint without it again. Another painting tool that we can no longer live without is this edger. I love the crisp straight lines it creates and again makes the whole painting process faster and easier too. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes, driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. Always remember to pull the tape before the paint completely dries. This makes a straight line without risking the dry edge pulling up with the tape. 
I say this every time, but wow, what a difference paint can do for the overall look and feel of a room. Already, this bathroom looks so much better. Now we can move on to a project that will really take this builder grade bathroom to the next level, and that is to frame out the mirror. I'm so blessed that my hubby Scott is super handy, so this project was easy for him to knock out in less than a half an hour. To build the frame, all he is doing is taking 1x4 pine boards and mitering the corners to their appropriate lengths according to the size of our mirror. Now there were several tutorials on Pinterest on how to do this, so I'll link my favorite in the description box below. Once he gets all four boards cut, he'll move on to nailing and securing the corners. Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down The sky is falling down To hold the corners in place, he is using these quick grips. Then he'll add finishing nails to both sides of the corner with his compressor nail gun, making the frame nice and secure. I'm looking for a brand new to secure the corners of the frame even further, to the back he is adding three tacks that he will hammer into place. Now it's time to add some wood stain to bring out all that beautiful wood grain and texture. He's using the Minwax wood stain in the color Jacobine. To apply the stain, he's going to use an old rag to brush it on with. And remember, anytime that you're using a wood stain, you want to apply the stain in the same direction as the wood grain. Then, letting it only set for a few seconds, he will follow it up by wiping away the excess with a clean rag. Make sure you stain both sides of the wood because it will show a reflection of the unfinished side in the mirror. Just take my word on this one. And I admit it felt so tough But baby, I guess this is how it's meant to be I'm a buy, I'm a buy, plane ticket Run away to LA for a minute There will be, there will be no limits ooh, ooh. After the stain has dried, it's time to add a gray wash to give that frame a nice aged appearance to do this, I added paint to water, about a 1 to 2 ratio, until you reach a pretty watery consistency. The gray that I'm using is the Urban Bronze. Then, using a paintbrush, I applied the gray wash over the stain, and then Scott went in right after me and wiped it down almost immediately. This will give it a nice gray washed out look, and it might appear dull, but the next step is to apply a polycrylic which will add sheen back to the frame as well as protect the wood from any moisture. As I mentioned before, the last step is to add this polycrylic. Because I wanted the frame to look more aged and worn, I went with a clear matte finish. If you prefer more sheen, then you would want to consider getting a satin or a semi-gloss finish. Allowing the polycrylic to fully dry, let's change things up a bit and talk about my new shower curtain. This is definitely another way to update your bathroom. So here's a quick look at what I went with. I wanted something pretty simple and I love the fringe at the bottom. I also wanted to give the shower more spa-like feeling so I chose a fabric liner instead of the stiff plastic ones. I think that simple change made a huge difference in the look and feel of the shower. 
After popping them both into the laundry, it's now time to iron away all the wrinkles so that it looks polished and fresh. So let's go ahead and get the shower curtain ironed so that it will be ready once it's time to dress the bathroom. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we use? Back to the frame of the mirror. To add interest to the corners of the mirror, we added these four L brackets or corner brackets. If you can find them in your desired finish, then go ahead and pick them up. Our local hardware store only carried the silver one, so we just picked up some Rust-Oleum spray paint in the Oil Rub Bronze finish and gave them several thin coats. Remember to also paint the tops of the screw heads too. Once dry, you can measure and attach them at your desired position. Lighting can make a huge impact and is really important when updating your space. There are tons of options and price points if you do your research, but this is the light I chose. I love the farmhouse style, but I like the idea that you could remove the glass shades or even change them out for a different shade. This light, I think, can go with different styles making it super versatile. And as I mentioned, Previously, if you don't have the budget to buy lighting, go ahead and spray paint it. That's what we did when we first moved in and changing the finish truly made a huge impact. Next up is hanging the light fixture. This is when I get super excited to see how it changes the look of the space. As with many DIY home projects, you might run into small problems or snags. When Scott removed the old light, he was kind of surprised to see that the junction box was not actually a light box, which is usually round, but instead it was an outlet box. So the hanging of this new light was a little bit tricky. Luckily, he made some minor tweaks for the installation of the light. So just be aware, there is always the unseen and be prepared for the project to take a little bit more time than what was expected. Now it's time to start rehanging all the things we removed for the painting process. I'll be putting the towel ring back in its original place, but you'll see here in a second that I'm removing the towel bar that was under the window and also moving the toilet paper holder from the wall to the cabinet. I wanted to make the room look as spacious as we could, so by removing all those things, I think that the wall appears less cluttered and actually appears larger than before. So make sure to just step back and take a look at what you have going on in your room. If your eye is drawn to an area that you're not really wanting to highlight, think of ways to remove it or change it. For example, in this bathroom, I was always looking at the toilet paper holder, which is not exactly the most flattering thing in the room. I love that it is hidden away now and the focus is more to the window or mirror, which is exactly where I'd prefer it to be. I'm 
defeated and withdrawn Just trying to understand where it went wrong Always believe that nothing good in life is free But it's overwhelming We are finally to the fun part where we get to hang the frame around the mirror. We are using these 3M command strips to easily hang it. I found this idea from Pinterest and I love the idea we could remove or change out the frame if I ever wanted to in the future. You could also screw the frame straight to the wall if you prefer or even glue it directly to the mirror with some liquid nail. But for us, this is what we're going to be using. We are also using more than the package suggested just to make sure it is secure. So for the size of our frame, we use 10. And here's a quick tip. If we were to do it again, I think we would place the strips a little closer to the outside edge so that if you lean your head in close to the mirror, you wouldn't be able to see the strips in the reflection. Another way I wanted to update the space is to add floating shelves above the toilet. I actually shot my own house for these. I recently added these to my wall in our Eden kitchen, but after seeing them there for a while, I thought the shelves there needed to be a bit longer and wider so that I can store larger items like cake stands, for example. So this mistake worked out perfectly to use here instead. These shelves totally fit the space perfectly. I encourage you to shop your own home and switch things up. The measurements I'm using are 53 inches from the floor for the lower shelf, and then from the lower shelf up, I'm measuring 13 and a fourth for the top shelf. I get so caught up in the middle, thinking of drowning in those blue eyes. I'm losing sight because I am falling. I'm so deep down, deep down, and it's not a lie. Now comes my favorite part of any home project and that is decorating and dressing up the space. I can't wait to show you how everything turned out. Let me just say, I'm in love. You can tell me all of your lies. I will put out all of the fire If it gets too dark Here's how the shelves turned out. I used plastic antique and my little secret for this grouping of amber bottles. A soap dish from Amazon and this potted arrangement from Kirkland's. For the top shelf, I kept it very simple by adding clear storage for cotton balls and q-tips and a bath sign from Amazon. Now it's time to get the shower curtain all ready. First I'll attach these new shower rings, then install the bronze shower rod, and finally hang it. To finish up, I'll add a few more decorative pieces and our bathroom makeover on a budget of $300 will be complete. Before giving you a final look at our finished project, I wanted to remind you where we started. So this is our bathroom before, and okay friends, here's a finished look at our bathroom makeover on a budget. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Let me know in the comments what you like most from the makeover. I'm also excited to share that we came in just a bit under budget at $290.81. Again, I'll be sure to list everything I can down in the description box below so you can check them out. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and got some inspiration that you'd like to try. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot. Also, if you enjoy more home DIY projects like today's video, cleaning motivation, decorating, and all things home, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back.
Thanks so much for watching. Take care and have a blessed week. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.